Hello everyone, so this will be basically a Moi 3D tutorial uh, and a test run for uh, hopefully more tutorials in the future. Um, what I wanted to do with this tutorial for now is uh, do a series of tutorials, as I call them, fixed tips, uh, which would be uh, tips and tricks on how to solve problems or uh, how to uh, solve the issues or problems while modeling. Uh, in this case, for example, I will show you how to remove these holes and uh, how to remove these details, perhaps uh, even uh, fill it, how to recreate the, this, this entire part, for example. So in this case, it's uh, really simple because it's straight, but uh, since it's a test run of tutorial, let's see how will this go. Um, anyhow, let me uh, start to do something. Uh, yeah, also, also I want to mention, see how, um, for example, I uh, when I while I'm modeling, I was uh, making a holes with booleans, and I took a part uh, which I didn't want, but I didn't see until later, right? So perhaps uh, I will, uh, perhaps you want to move that too. Uh, so I will show you how to uh, fix this too. Uh, anyhow, let's. Um, Let's start. Let me just hide this first. Hi. Mm. Okay. So let me just make it in the scene and copy just to have it somewhere. Um, so uh, first thing I will show you just uh, how to recreate the model, right? So this will be just a uh, step back, which will remove every detail, every uh, bevel, and uh, and everything, and just start an, a new, right? So how you do that is just uh, since it's a quite simple model, as I said before. Uh, the easiest thing is to just create a circle like this, and we want to make a cut onto the circle. Uh, so we have these parts, they have to be, uh, I will trim them, so they have to be uh, one on top of each other for trim to work. Right, so I'm pressing T, uh, which is shortcut for uh, my shortcut for trim, then accept and uh, select the parts I want to remove. So these are still separate and we want to uh, join them using join. Okay, so this is now uh, one single curve and uh, basically um, the main shape. Now another part we need in this case is uh, this uh, shape which goes inside, we, which will we uh, use boolean on. So the process is uh, again uh, the same, just a smaller one, smaller circle. And again uh, we want to... this and again we'll use trim to cut the bottom part and delete and then again join the part okay so we have now everything we need and uh, let's do the extruding part so we want to snap uh, the curve to that part and then use the extrude and extrude onto the other side Delete it. And now we want to do the same with this inner part. So select the this uh, previous part we created, and then uh, boolean difference this part. And basically now we have recreated the. Um, the entire model without any uh, without the bevels and holes and details and everything so you can start with the new fresh model so that would be uh, like um going entirely back but uh oftentimes uh, we want to move it oftentimes you don't want to go that far back uh which means that uh, you want for example just move the holes but keep all everything the same so in that case uh, it's very simple to do so all you have to do is just select the surfaces inside like this so we have this selected and just press delete to delete them right? as well as this uh, this part so you can go into the uh, side view 
and then just select them all at once like this delete now uh, one cool thing to remove uh, these holes is just all you have to do is just select these edges on both sides and just again press delete and they disappear now uh, one thing to have uh, I have this uh, to just show you this technique with the uh, deleting the holes so um, this only works when uh, there is nothing intersecting uh, meaning that is um, for example on uh, this hole is in the middle of the face right if we select these faces delete them then the edges edge and then delete it the, as you can see the the hole is removed the same is with this for example select and remove right so it's work but as soon as you have the intersecting like these edges that are going through uh, over the holes, then this will not work. So that's something you want to keep in mind. It's still not not an issue. It's still there is you know if you have pressed the lid, as you can see, they are still here. So um, that's something to uh, keep in mind. If you uh, try to delete them and it's not working, is because probably you have this uh, this kind of a uh, problem. Well, there are. There are a few techniques to uh, solve that, this and to cap cap the, these uh, holes. Um, in this case, you can you could just delete this uh, part entirely and just uh, loft between, for example. But we often time you have something model, so you can't do that. You just want to close it, and uh, since it's curved, you can't use the uh, planer. So in that case, uh, what you want to do is use streaming. Uh, so in that case, you can uh, just duplicate it, this uh, edge into curve. So I'm just pressing copy and paste. Um, and what I can do now is uh, use trim and add trim points. So let's say a you know, point here and point, and then delete this part. So now with this, I, you can uh, extrude it until they cover the. Uh, cover the holes and all we have to do now is just select the edges as well as this part and just trim and accept and then select the part you want to remove and then join them together as you can see they are capped now they are still here but you know at least they are not visible anymore okay let's go back to the model um, okay, now uh, I have removed this part. Um, so let's now uh, remove this hole. So this is a little bit different, right? So it's uh, again the same as what I mentioned before, right? This is, as you can see, those edges are intersecting with the hole. So if I select this just entire thing and I press the lid, obviously it's uh, not working. So we have to do a little bit more work, and in this case it's super simple, right? All we have to do is just copy and paste some uh, edges. In this case, uh, we can just uh, first delete this part, then we can delete this entire part. Now, before deleting this uh, bevel thing, we want to uh, keep these edges. So select these edges and just copy and paste. So these are not separate curves, right? Which will need to recreate the empty surfaces. So now we can select those bevels, fillets, right, and delete them. And we are left only with the. No. Uh, now, uh, since we have the curved surface, right, so we can't use like um, line. Uh, this is not good because um, you might notice that this is this is breaking the tangency, right? Because they are curved, and then you have straight line. This is not going to work. Uh, using the uh, freeform and control points, this is not precise. So the best way to just do it is to use blend, which works on surfaces as well as the curves. So if I select this curve and this one, this is nearest one, and just use the blend with the one bulge one, uh, we have nice, uh, nice and uh, tangent. Uh, 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 how you call it? blend between the curves? Yeah, that would be correct and then we can do the same with this 
then you can just select the, all those for now and then join so this is one and then again on this on the other side uh, select and blend okay select everything we want all to be one piece as you can see okay so um now we have everything to just uh, make the surfaces in this case we can what we can do is just uh, select this uh, curve and this edge and when we can do uh, loft right in this case um, there are many ways you can do uh, create uh, surfaces in so in this case it's a straight one so you can use loft but you can also use the sweep for example you can select the uh, profiles on both sides you uh, select sweep and then both edges on the so this will this will work why um, for example hmm. okay so we have this for example you know we, we can't use the loft here right so as you can see we, we want to have this curve here so go back and we want to use select this profile and on the other side sweep and then choose the rails we will select rails we'll set done right and accept and the last one is just select this part and this one and since this is the flat surface we all we can do now is just use planar and now we have all the surfaces these are all separate so if I if I select the main uh, the main object uh, it will say bullet insect object join surface meaning that it's not solid yet so it's uh, we have to select all the surfaces we create it and then use join so now if I select the object I deleted it <laughs> I didn't notice that there is no 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 surface so okay uh, we have to create the again sweep I deleted it always before so <laughs> sorry about that okay and then if we join everything now we have solid which is perfect this will uh, if for example why we want to have a solid uh, oftentimes when uh, boolean operation failed it is because you have uh, you haven't you don't have solid you always have to have a uh, uh, solid okay so uh, in this case we have solved this problem with, uh, with this part and as well as the holes now what we can do is remove this this uh, detail here and there is uh, always, always multi multiple ways to do that uh, but I'll show you uh, two two ways which you might I guess it might be the most common especially in this uh, case this is pretty simple uh, pretty simple example so uh, straight example okay the the most obvious thing is just um, remove the entire part like this select all then just select this and uh, boolean difference the entire thing uh, and then select this face and just use the extrude which will extend until this part this is still not uh, uh, together right so, so um, we want to use uh, boolean union on this so if you check we have the solid and this is all, all connected and nice um, in some cases right let me just have a copy um, in some cases there might be um, okay how to explain this I guess I can explain on this mm, nope uh, let me just quickly create in some cases there might be a um, situation where um, imagine that this is just <laughs> uh, some random detail right and you can't you can't you have something model here so you can't just uh, remove everything and then you have to redo it in this case you just want to uh, do this part small part here 
right? And then again, boolean difference. Now, um, since this is the straight, uh, you uh, you can use two methods. One would be uh, as a, again, since it's straight, you can just select this face and then use extrude to this. So this is one uh, one method, and it works, right? Uh, another method is that you could delete these parts then select these edges copy and paste them and join them so these are now one and these are curves right okay as you can see curves then you can use the oops, you can use loft done and delete the curves and then use this part and join them together and we have solid right uh, in many cases oops, let's delete this part in many cases also uh, these edges might be a problem uh, if you keep modeling something and since my fillet is not this strong and robust uh, this might give you a problem so you want to keep the uh, this kind of edges at minimum so what you can do to fix this part you can just select the faces uh, and keep yeah, don't select the, the the detail here just delete everything like this uh, select the the main profile and on the other side and just do the loft done and then again we will use trimming and then select the this and this part and then select trim uh, select the face uh, we want to remove and accept now this is still separate so we want to select everything and join them together so this uh, as you can see we have a solid here so everything is now uh, the same so th we have this there's this small edges here so the same you can just delete the uh, the faces and just uh, select this one like for example and extrude it or loft it uh, all the way to the other side and join them together now to remove this detail again as I, as I said before you can just select the faces delete select everything delete and you are back uh, to the initial part is that everything so I'm deleting this part so now we have a part so we have a part uh, recreated from scratch uh, remove the hole and fix the uh, inner problem as well as now remove the holes and this detail so I guess this is all for this uh, tutorial it's <laughs> turned out to be a little bit longer but uh, I hope someone will find it uh, well <laughs> useful cheers guys